So today we celebrate this Easter, asking God, where in my life do I need the resurrection of Christ? Where do I need this light of resurrection to cut through my life? Because we all know that we have some areas in our life that need a lot of work. Maybe some more than others. Maybe it's kindness. Maybe it's what you need in your life is kindness. Some of us is maybe patience. One time I was telling someone, I was telling me, Father, I'm so proud to be with you. He said, why? He said, because you are so patient. I said, well, you haven't seen me driving. <laughs> of course, we all have something to work on. What are you going to work on this, this Easter? Where do you want Christ to come and transform your life? Is it patience? Is it hatred? Is it complaint? We live in a world today whereby the pandemic has left most of us very bitter and very sad. And so many people are so mean to each other. God is asking us, let this resurrection be the turning point in our lives. Where in your life do you want to be transformed? You identify, they say, Jesus, this is where I need the resurrection. Because trust me, you point out to him, Jesus is going to come into that area and help you to work on that. Because his purpose is to make us sense. Let us pray and ask God for the grace today that as we come together with our families and friends, let us seek the risen Lord in each and every one. Can you see the risen Lord in your children? In your brother and sister you don't even talk, talk to anymore. The bitterness right there in your family. Once we begin seeing the resurrection in each and every one, that's how we transform our communities and our country and our world. Our message is one. Go and share the good news that Christ is alive. And because he's alive, he wants all of us to be alive in him. The Lord be with you.